Pro Group Management, workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Good morning, everyone. I'm Renee Summerauer. We start off with your top stories brought to you by Nevada Hand's Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at nevadahand.org. Complaints of child abuse and sexual assault are plaguing a youth psychiatric facility in Nevada. This comes more than four years after state officials shut down a private boarding school in Nye County. Review Journal's Jen Ah reports on their connection. Well, the psychiatric facility is now using that boarding school's former property and facing those allegations. The Never Give Up Youth Healing Center is located about an hour and a half away northwest of Vegas in Armagosa Valley, also called NGU. Painted as a place for kids ages 8 to 17 with calming rooms on its website, the facility houses those suffering from behavioral and psychiatric conditions. But the investigating attorney paints a darker picture. I have never seen a facility with as many egregious problems as NGU. Several students have told us and the courts that they were victims of physical and sexual abuse while they were just seeking psychiatric help. And Nevada Medicaid sent a letter to Never Give Up in January telling the facility that it was going to terminate the facility's contract. But NGU states it's appealing the decision. We are working closely with the state to ensure that all clients at Never Give Up are continuing to receive appropriate care for their behavioral and mental health needs. For further details, go to LVRJ.com and look for this article. And a judge dismissed drug trafficking charges against alleged cult leader Nathan Chasing Horse. Public defenders filed a petition arguing that prosecutors failed to establish probable cause to imprison him on felony counts that included sexual assault of a minor under 16, kidnapping and drug trafficking. After a court hearing last week, the judge dismissed the drug charges but declined to dismiss the other counts. Teachers may be required to cut down on time spent preparing and administering standardized tests under a bill being considered by lawmakers last Thursday. Assembly Bill 296 would cap the amount of time teachers can prepare and administer tests at 2% of total instruction time in a school year. The effort is to expand instruction time, which testing can get in the way of. According to a report from CCSD, an average student spends 3.5% or 33 hours of time on assessments each year. In more education news, local governments may be barred from operating charter schools and substitute teachers will be required to have an associate's degree. Senate Bill 344 was heard by lawmakers Monday and includes other changes such as requiring large school districts to undergo an audit every six years. It would also prohibit the CCSD Board of Trustees from discouraging or interfering with public comment during meetings. To learn more about the bill, log on to LVRJ.com and look for this article. In your business news, sponsored by Bank of Nevada, Bank on Accountability, electronic tickets and apps replace paper tickets, but the digital world brings a new set of risks for buyers. There are some important rules to follow when buying tickets online. Number one, use websites such as VerifiedTicketSource.com to verify the organization is a registered ticket reseller. Number two, always use protected payment methods such as Zelle or PayPal. Never use cash, debit cards or wire transfer. For more tips, log on to lvrj.com backslash business. And a man from Santa Ana, California won $499,000 Sunday night after hitting the mega progressive jackpot on three-card poker at the Flamingo. The winning hand was a five-card royal flush. The man named Omar Moreno said he plans to use the winnings to purchase a home. Now to your weather report brought to you by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every blooming thing. We're looking at more warm temperatures turning hot for your Tuesday forecast. Daytime highs in the upper 80s, low 90s in parts of the valley. Winds also picking up to about 30 miles per hour by this evening. Evening lows in the mid 60s. For the rest of the week, windy conditions will continue through Wednesday, 30 miles per hour in some parts of the valley. Daytime highs also staying in the upper 80s. Evening lows ranging in the mid 50s, low 60s. In your health news, sponsored by Boulder City Hospital, we're here for you when you need us. April is World Autism Month and Chuck E. Cheese is celebrating with a full month of sensory-sensitive Sunday events. 
Now in its sixth year, selected fun centers open two hours early on the first Sunday of each month for sensory sensitive fun with dimmer lights and lower volume for a calmer environment to enable kids with sensory sensitivities to enjoy the Chuck E. Cheese experience to the fullest. Locations will open two hours early from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. And when there's an emergency in your home, proper information can mean the difference between life and death. Boulder City Fire Department has activated a new online tool called Community Connect to help firefighters better prepare when responding to emergencies. Residents can provide details about their home, their family, medical needs, and more, so dispatched firefighters have plenty of information before arriving on the scene. To sign up, go to bcnv.org slash community connect. Sports brought to you by Station Casinos, STN Sports. Download the app today. The Las Vegas Aces had the last pick in the 2023 WNBA Draft Monday night, selecting Alabama guard Brittany Davis. Davis averaged just under 18 points per game this year, adding seven rebounds and two assists per game. She was also shooting at 35.5% from three-point range, ranking fourth in the SEC in scoring, ninth in rebounding, and twelfth in steals. Sports betting brought to you by the Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. The NBA's play-in tournament tips off today with a doubleheader. The Heat are favored by four and a half over the Hawks at Westgate Superbook in the opener, and the total is 227. The Lakers are six and a half point favorites over the Wolves in the nightcap, and the total is 229. In Wednesday's twin bill, the Raptors are five point favorites over the Bulls, and the total is 214 and a half. The Pelicans are favored by five over the Thunder, and the total is 228. The Bucks are three to one favorites to win the NBA title, and the Celtics are plus 350, the Suns 5 to 1. In your entertainment news, sponsored by Arizona Charlie's, has live entertainment every weekend at both locations. Go to ArizonaCharlie's.com to see who's playing. Pop star Katy Perry has a surprise for Las Vegas locals and tourists. Review Journal's John Katzlamides has the scoop. Perry announced Monday morning that she's adding 10 dates and that'll be it for this year and for play generally. It's October and November dates on the schedule now. She celebrated her 50th show on Friday night, another blazing sold out performance. Perry has said that she'll come back to Las Vegas someday with a different show. We can't wait to see what she plans to perform to top this one because it was a critical and artistic success. And here's a quick look back at some of the classic marquees along Las Vegas Boulevard. During the days before social media, casinos and resorts used marquees to advertise their entertainment shows and dinners and other amenities. To see more of the big signs, log on to lvrj.com slash entertainment. Thank you for watching 7 at 7 a.m. I'm Renee Summerhour. If you have an Amazon Fire TV, search Review Journal to download our channel. Watch Las Vegas Breaking News streaming live on your OTT device. We'll see you back here later today for 7 at 7 p.m. From the Las Vegas Review Journal, have a great day. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.